Hi crafters, it's Kathy from Scrap and Bean for a Try It Tuesday. So today I've got out my Nouveau Dream Drops and I pulled them out because I was working on a scrapbook layout using this paper here. And in this cup, see these little heart shapes? Well, I decided I wonder if I could fill in those hearts using Nouveau Dream Drops and found out that you can actually make heart shapes, create your own heart shapes with the Nouveau Drops. So I thought I would share that with you. Here's the one I did when I was just experimenting. So there's a little heart in the middle there and some dots on each side. I'll show you on this just a scrap piece of paper what I did and I'll do it in a bit of an exaggerated heart so that you can tell what I did. So I just squeezed out. Now normally to do a dot, I would hold it straight up and down the bottle, give it a little squeeze, and then let go, and there's your perfect dot. I wonder if I can zoom in a little bit more. Or you can do tiny ones. It all depends on how much you squeeze out. So there's a real tiny little dot. So you can do all different sizes. But here's what I did to do the heart is instead of going straight up and down, I put it at an angle. Now maybe some of you have already discovered this before, but this was a new discovery for me. Squeeze some out and then, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> of course not when I'm showing you. So I basically squeezed it out and then I tipped it to try to kind of cut off the flow, I guess you would say. So squeeze it and kind of drag it out. So it's more like um, an upside down teardrop or a raindrop. And then I went from the other side, so it's almost like a V, squeeze and then put some out. And then here you've got your little heart shape, Ooh, wherever my camera is. So you can see the little heart shape there. And if you practice a few, you get pretty good at them. I wonder if you could do it larger even, probably. I think larger is actually easier than small. So there's a larger heart. How fun, let's see how big we can go. You get so much of this in a bottle, right? That's pretty good. Okay, that's starting to look more like the letter Y, but I think with some practice, you could probably get a, a larger heart going. Even that's a little bit better. Kind of just pushing it around with the nozzle. I'm not actually squeezing more out, but just using the nozzle to manipulate it so it moves around a bit. Maybe that looks a little more like a heart, but these little ones come out pretty good. So, so I ended up using that just to fill in the heart design, but here's the project I was using it on. I want to do another one of these little heart in the middle things. Now I might have to, you see it on there? Here's where I'm gonna go. So roughly the middle, and I'll do one side of the heart first, and then the other side. So it's just kind of like doing a V, but it melds together. Okay, it's a little, little bit lumpy. Oh, it's gonna settle down. Okay, it's gonna settle down the flow and I think that'll work. And then I'm just gonna do some dots on each side. And some dots on the other side. They may not be even, but that's okay. This is, this is handmade, it doesn't have to be doesn't have to be Hallmark. There we go. So I'm happy with that. Yeah, they're not even. I should have actually um, started on this side so when I'm doing these I can see those and kind of tell that they're going the same side where by doing the ones on the right hand side of it first then when I go to do these my hand is hiding it so I can't really watch it to compare. So I'm just trying to add a little bit more, see if I can get them a little closer to even. Uh, once they dry, I don't think I would add more, but while well, they're wet, I think I can get away with it. Seems to be okay. Just adding a slight little bit on there. So yeah, I think those little hearts are kind of cute. In fact, 
Like, when do you stop, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe I could add some more on here. Ah, what's another little heart? So this project will soon be available as a kit, actually, a scrapbooking kit. And I imagine it'll be under the name Dream, because that's the title on there. And it's just about relaxing, pictures of when you're relaxing. This one's got time for tea and enjoy the little things, so lots of photos would work with that. And there we go. It's not perfect, but it's cute. Zoom back out. So here's where I put the little hearts and dots. Here and here. Then on this dream title, there's a bigger dot in the middle and some little ones around the outside of it. Same with on the top here. Um, on the teacup, this is where I started with the little hearts, just filling in the hearts that were part of the paper. That's what, that's what got me going on this. Did the same thing with the butterfly, I had some dots on it, so I just filled those in with the drops. And then made this little steam coming out of the teacup as well. So there's a few different ideas of what you can do with the drops. And this one might be a little bit harder to see because it's on pattern paper, but I've got just three little dots in the corner and three little drops in that corner too. My challenge with this is when do you stop? Because once you get going, it's kind of fun. So I hope you give that a try and maybe you can come up with even some new shapes that are easy to make with the Nouveau Drops. Happy crafting!